Let's have a look at mixing greys. Um, now I've deliberately chosen colours which you should have in your paint box or in your collection um, but if you haven't then you experiment. I'd like you to experiment anyway, it's the best thing to do. I'm looking first at two colours, two cool colours, alizarin crimson and viridian green and then two warm colours, ultramarine blue and burnt umber. So let's have a little play and see what we come up with. So, alizarin crimson, and viridian. A bit more water. Okay, now we're going to merge those together and I'll start just by putting a bit of the green there and adding some of the red and let's see what we get. Looks like we need a little bit more green. Yeah, that's quite a grey colour and of course you can vary the percentages of each and the amount of water to get the colour you want but if you want to keep into it keep in a cool palette then it was a good idea to use cool colours. Right now let's have a look at some warm colours and we've got ultramarine blue and burnt umber Bit more. Okay, now I'm going to take the burnt umber, which is the least dominant, and some ultramarine. Bit more ultramarine, maybe. And that's quite an interesting colour as well. So there you've got a cool grey and there you've got a warmer grey. Now you need to experiment, that is for sure, depending on the colours you've got. You may well have a ivory black, a lamp black, a Mars black, a Payne's grey, indigo, Prussian, all sorts, but just have a little play with them and see what else you get. Now I'm going to do a couple more because I was having an experiment with my colours and here I have indigo blue, raw umber and cerulean blue and raw umber. So let's see what we've got here then. So there's the indigo which is a very very strong dominant colour and quite fairly opaque. There's the raw umber, let's put that there while I've got it on my brush. And here's some super cerulean blue which is quite transparent and quite weak, not as dominant as that. So while I've got that on my brush let's put a little bit there and a little bit of the raw umber and see what we get. Yeah, not bad, greyy sort of colour. And let's look over here, we'll go for the raw umber first because that's not as dominant as the indigo and just a tiny bit of indigo. Yeah, we need more raw umber. So mess about with it, it's a sort of a browny grey colour. Now you can use your blacks and mix with white but then you're going to get opaques and if you want your shadows to cast on top of buildings whether it be sunshine cast shadows or moonlight cast shadows whatever you're doing have a play with your colours. So I hope that's been helpful. 
just have a practice, see what colours you've got, make up a little colour chart. Don't forget to jot down what the colours were, whether they're warm or cool, and keep a record and build up your portfolio. So that will help you with mixing your greys and your neutrals.